Hey Tiger fans, I'm Madison Dildine alongside varsity head coach Shane Coffey. We're going to do a quick walk and talk as we preview playoffs. You ready? Sounds great. Let's do it. Coach, talk to me about the growth that you've seen in your team from preseason to now. You know, this team has grown in huge amounts over the course of this year. It's been so fun to watch them from the very beginning of the year. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people in preseason. I talked about how we were going to be really young in some key areas, and, and our team just uh, it just needed time. But our kids right now are playing their best basketball, and, and it's at the right time of the year. Playoffs are, are right around the corner, and we're ready to get started. We recently celebrated your senior class. How much have those three impacted this basketball program's culture? You know, when I first got this job a year and a half ago, that was our number one thing was to try to change the culture. And these three kids have really bought into it and, and have really kind of taken on leadership roles. They've uh, done the little things that we need to do outside of the basketball court and the arena itself and lead our team, you know, in a lot of different adventures, you know, and it's just been so fun to watch them just mature as individuals as well. And excited to see their future. We talk about leadership with seniors all the time, but with, when you're looking at your underclassmen, who have you seen that from so far this year? You know, obviously, Kenzie Mathurin, you know, is one of the top players in the state of Oklahoma in her class, and she's really developed into a nice leader. And, you know, Macy Maracini, you know, our little point guard, who's also a sophomore, has just thrived, you know, especially late in the year, and, and uh, is wanting the ball in her hands and able to kind of take control of the game at certain moments. And, and it's been fun to kind of see her develop as well as a leader. Tonight you will travel to Choctaw to face Westmore. What can fans expect out of that matchup? You know, Westmore is a very athletic team. You know, they're a team that's very scrappy. They're going to rely a lot on uh, defensive pressure to create easy baskets for themselves. They're a team that can shoot the three. They're a little streaky. You know, they're a team that can get to the rim a little bit as well. Um, but I know our kids are prepared and, and ready for this battle. What's been your message to your team this year? You know, we, our mantra this year has been battle. And what that means is be above the line. You know, in everything that we do, in the classroom, on the basketball court, whether it's in practice, whether it's uh, in games, we've got to do the extra is what it's all about. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? You know, my dad has been a, uh, a firm believer in hard work, you know, and, and always telling me that it's not always going to be easy, you know, and you've got to make sure that you can handle adversity and not hang your head when things don't go your way. And, I think in the game of basketball, that happens a lot. You know, you're, there's, there's ups and downs, ebbs and flows of a game. You cannot hang your head. And as a leader, your kids have got to see that positive mentality. What's been your favorite memory from this season? You know, just watching this team develop over the course of the entire year has been phenomenal. I mean, it's not just been one memory. It's been every day seeing the little baby steps that this young basketball team has made and seeing where we are today playing our best basketball. Thanks so much for joining me, Coach. He and the Lady Tigers are on the road tonight at Choctaw against Westmore for the first round of the OSSAA Regionals. Make sure you're following at VA Tiger Sports on all social media platforms so you can stay up to date.